The next one. Cons of cons and cages? Is that like... Is that like a, a an Akatar book? A Court of Cons and Cages? <laughs> like one of those book talk novels? Is it card? No, it says con. Cons. Certainly uh, appreciate your help in escorting us through this tricky task. This has been a wide couple of days. I will serve it wherever I can find them as well. Yeah. Here are the first sentient creatures I've come across. They're not made of tentacles and crab claws. What about Kelda Drake? <laughs> Who do you really call this <laughs> no! I, uh, I agree with Drago. Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna head over to kick me. Well, that was very quick processing time with the meat. <laughs> I'm a pirate! Pillage another demon village nearby. There are more of them? But we've annihilated at least... I don't know. How many shots did I take last night? That was still a few more than I needed of extermination. Do, 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 do. Do, ah, do, do, do. I is acting out again. Where are going, man? Stay it here if you don't want to sit in the splash zone of the exploding nerd like shit. Wait! Ooh. We can fight too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not how so, Pillion. You don't explode. Explode? What? Isn't that a guardsman only thing? You see, hell the war. It's all about your willpower. Yes! If you believe you'll survive, if you believe in your strengths, if you believe all these massive spine snapping blood gates cannot kill you, the war is all yours. Yes. And that's what the hell is for. But all I'm drunk as you are now, the only your trips are all balancing on the brink of spluttering all across the armor. So, in short, stay put. So it is. Face. So it is liquid courage, really, it is. And wait, till I can booze you up some more. Oh, come now. Do not doubt us. Well, booze you up. Lot. I have attended many sober fights in the past. When was the last time you got out of your chair? I carried out countless planetary cleansings. I heard you cleaned floors rather than sweet <laughs> so I have a chill count of over a billion potential. Which is inheritance. Potential? You know, yeah. you killed me in the... What is the difference between years and your instincts? And kill him by smashing some button with your phone. Yes. Well, that's not something I expect. Smash, 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 smash. Where are we going now? Where I'll do a quick little bit chat for you. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> the button. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It is well within my genetic structure to act according to my instincts. All right, stop your job. What with my saintly origins, me being banished to this realm was the very result of my glorious instincts to begin with. That's incredibly pathetic. I'm going now. Bye. As I am sure yours do, my godly genes provide me with premonition. What? What? Just howling what? Me? But this is no surprise, seeing as your genes and mine are directly linked, my son. Oh. Please tell me I misheard, because I just thought I heard ye, a double with the face of a scalped man with her, who is probably 13,000 moons younger than me. Just call me son. No. I did indeed, Wolven son of Oh them. no. I'm gonna punch your face off for that. Don't do that. Already doing it. No. Yes. No, do not! What was that noise? It was the miserable scream of an old man <laughs> being punched in the face, father. Right. Nevertheless, Magnus and Beto Boy have still not returned. My sorrow knows no bounds at hey, this Hey no! Point. Father, 
Your excessive wailing will not lead you anywhere. Magnus is more than likely searching the Imperial Palace for him at this very moment. Why does that shit wizard take such time doing so? The Imperial Palace encompasses 147,000 square kilometers, with 4,029,854 individual chambers in both the inner and uh. outer palace. Finding him may very well take days. Well, I gave Magnus a bike, so he has no excuse. Can I too have a bike, Father? No. no. You are too fat. <laughs> what? You hurt me, Father. He's Good. fat? I too wish to go fast. I am now sad. Well, maybe. <gasps> if you promise to keep your ass within smelling distance, <laughs> unlike the other two. That does sound very contradictory to your supposed wish of them returning, Father. I know the ins and outs of this palace like no other. I would find them in but an hour. Please, just stay here. I do not want to risk losing you two. Oh, That's so sweet. That's so sweet. He doesn't want to lose. He lost. Kitten and Magnus is not around. Oh, sweet. Sounds like a lie, father. Stop reading my actions like I am some spooky pop-up book. Father is working. I was certain you were. Look, just shut your fuzzy face for a second while Daddy pulls his strings. <laughs> Random mechanicus guy. I call upon thee. How can I serve you, Emperor? Who are you? And why aren't he you poster guy? He went on vacation, but do not fret. For I too have a massive fixation with slapping my cyberdog against the hull of toasters. Yep, At least lovely. You honest. Yep, I guess. Be rebuilt entirely after Cyberdogs? Shut it. I would like to not think about that. Old shed to see if there are any bikes left for Rogel. Oh. With the mobility scooter pattern. Do Segways still exist in the 40 first millennium? Fuck Good question. Media. Good I'm question. Actually, vehicles driven by tiny snarlings. Yay, bike. That actually reminds me, Rogel. Do you know where your brother Jaghate is currently located? I am fairly certain Jaghate Khan disappeared from real space about 70 years after the Horus Heresy. Do you remember where to? To somewhere in not real space. Fuck baskets. What? Oh, thank you for becoming a member, Roy. <laughs> thank you for becoming a member. I like your comment. I do all my loyal sons have to mysteriously disappear into some murder trench tailscape when I am not around. It's so I much did fun. Not, father. Oh. Yes. Why did you not? You think you are exempt of responsibility and able to just not proceed to get lost in some endless void in the hopes of wrecking non-human ass and possibly rescuing me in some far flung manner? No. While my siblings are out being lost, I came here to keep our rambling paraplegic father company. Because I love him more than any other. You are lucky I find salt and sweet to go nicely together, son. I knew there was a reason I named you Praetorian of Terra that one time. I failed that to one see time. how a combination of flavor sensations are relevant to me caring for you. But as irrelevant as they may be, <laughs> I'm glad you like things. Speaking of things half dead, you should get that head of yours checked. Something is clearly off and I am becoming increasingly worried. Do not worry, father. I check my head every day in the mirror. <laughs> no. Everything is still on. For fuck's sake, let us move back to the topic of Jack Hottick. Do you know anything of what his legion, the Weiss cars, have been up to as of late? No. Curses. No. I guess I will have to pry that information out of whatever custodian is invading my personal space today. That would be me, sir. Oh, boy, oh no, the not... unnotable middleman. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty mundane, aren't I? Yeah. Disturbingly so. The only reason I remember you is because you are amongst other more conspicuous companions. I mean, like the others, Oof. you are there. But you leave only a fraction of the impression. That is fair. Quite. Say, do you also like bikes? It is incidentally a fantasy of mine, yes. Uninteresting. Hard to remember and likes bikes. You should totally join the white scars. <laughs> you would <laughs> What a burn! <laughs> what a burn! Speaking of, do you happen to know anything about the white scars and their current shenanigans? Hmm. I do know that they defended the Imperial Palace during the Horus Humbug. Oh, a humbug. Derek Not a heresy. Humbug. Standing up on the roof of a razorback. He also went around his sable while screaming like a lunatic. Yes. Well, he yes. actually stood still for more than 20 seconds. While this is several millennia too late, I am proud of his progress. To be fair, sir, the tank he stood upon was going at at least 200 miles per hour. Fast. So what happened after the battle? Did Jack Hate use his fearsome velocity to become one with the speed force? 
I don't know, sir. What the fuck do you mean, I don't know? I only know about the white stars being around during the Horus humbug as I saw it with my own eyes. Not much more than that, yes. Fucking damn it. Are you three just especially incompetent? Or does my one true caretaker just know an abnormal amount of trivia for some reason? <laughs> I can always go and ask Kitten about him if you really do crave that information. What the fuck is the point of you being my caretakers if you cannot answer these good point. questions yourself? Well, technically, answering questions isn't a part of the job description. You are such a fucking bore. <laughs> Stripping the mold from your thighs is, however, Ew. So you can do that instead if you like. Just go and get Ew. yourself informed, please. Pretty well, sir. Oh, and do tell Cylinder Boy and Magnus that I miss them while you are at it. Oh, I shall, but Kitten must wait for first I must fiercely slap that red hot ass from my hand is fiercely craving some demon misbehaving. <laughs> I suddenly feel kinda of bad about laughing at Lorgar when he wore his chastity belt. Father. I was just reminded of something. Was it how to breathe with your nose? Before Gigante disappeared, he did keep mumbling something about and I quote, going faster than those knife-eared assholes. <laughs> knife-eared assholes, you say? <laughs> there is only one species out in the galaxy that could aptly go by that description. Actually, Father, Eldar, Orcs, Rakgul, Beastmen, and other select mutant species could all go by this Oh yeah, of course, he's talking about Orcs. Of orcs. Exposition. He was obviously referring to the Eldar. The Dark Eldar, to be exact. After Horus's rebellion, Dragatai Khan's return to his home planet of Mundus Planus was met with grief. The Dark Eldar had carried out numerous heists upon the defenseless planet while the White Scars were away. They took thousands of Imperial citizens to serve as slaves in the dark city of Kamara. If there has ever been an existence you don't want to go there, it's bad. As the Dark Elders, it probably never existed to begin with. We direly need to find this massive veg fest of a city Oh, it's like in the webway, but it's so hard to find. I disagree, for the mere reason that the Khan may reside there at this very moment. You actually think he yet lives, and there, of all places. Yes, it only makes sense that the Khan would chase the Dark Eldar into the webway for vengeance. But vengeance. I do not doubt for a second that my brother still lives. No foul Zeno could ever hope to pierce his steadfast determination. I feel more distraught about this than anything. If there is one place you do not want to find yourself alone, it is that place. You don't. If you don't want to be there alone. If a massive run downtown, Kamorak would be the local nightclub turned insane asylum. Please do not worry, Father. For while the Dark Eldar proved to carry great mastery of hidden run tactics, I doubt they have much experience in the very same tactics being used against them. With extreme efficiency, no less. That does sound plausible. Neither would I be surprised if Jagate just challenged them to 10,000 years worth of bike races. Jagate Khan likes going fast. Yes, he does. Yes. Yes. That reminds me. Random Mechanicus guy, I call upon you once more. You have more purposes to serve. Have you found the bike yet? There may still be a bike in the shed, but so far we don't know until it is confirmed. That is a really stupid fucking Yeah, it is kind of dumb. But all right. Your secondary mission is now to tell the scribes to send a new message to the Ultramarines telling them to find Jack Hotakon while they yes. are still going to the webway to dance it off with the Harlequin. Good idea. may in fact not be Ultramarine Blue after all, but rather a shade of Cobalt Blue, making their entire existence a massive Did blind. I ask? You can go now, please. Where are we actually going? What does going mean? What does it go? Oh. Go, go, blue. What an uncanny character. No. Yes. No. Oh shit, Biscuits, I almost forgot. We are still waiting for that one companion. There is one entering right now. Fucking finally. Greetings, Mademoiselle Emperor. Oh fuck no, it's the creepy one. Oh no. I just no. so happen to be standing around intensely eavesdropping on your conversation when I heard that your current caretaker is missing. That nobody went to acquire information about the Weiss cars from your Captain General since the rest of you are so disgustingly inept at this caretaker job that you need to do what I literally have been doing with him this entire time, being pushing him for knowledge before you imitate him word for word in front of me like some greased up beef parrots. Oh my! You must mm. really be covering that knowledge! Ew. This passion runs up my arts. Find stop, that stop, and stop, stop. Swat train with your every word. Uh. Stop speaking in such eloquently disgusting manners, you fucking oil tanker. Oh 
<laughs> you can be pet names like that. Only slips me deeper into the gaping crevice that is my adoration. Oh no, oh no. Holy fuck, just please get my caretaker here before I have to get my psych fist opening. Absolutely, my emperor. I shall locate him with utmost grace. The sensational flick is all but lost on me now. Burning the kinds I occasionally enjoy, of course. No. No. Please stop fucking up my floors and slide on out of here before I vaporize your ball sack with a single thought. Oh no. My brothers are cringe. So cringe. While we await their undesirable return, I wish to speak to you about something. What is it you wish of me, father? You carry knowledge about the history of your sons, the Imperial Fists. Yes. Yes. Can you bring unto me this knowledge? Yes. Can you do it now? Yes. Go, Fucking do, do it. it then. Where should I begin? After my entrapment in this giant shiny chair. Very well. Once upon a time, Story I time. was me after Horace's rebellion. Yeah, yeah. I was distraught because you had died. My yeah. normal calm had been compromised. To the point that the only reasonable thing I could think to do was to bring my imperial fist with me to hunt down and kill all remaining traitors. Good idea, good idea, good idea. That is the best I love it. Day present I could think of that is a time. really good present. Destroying like your your father's enemies. That's hilarious. Gilliman showed us all a book he had written. Khan and Korax really liked the book. I like how they gave him a mohawk for some reason. Not how I would have drawn him, but you know. Me, Russ, and Vulcan did not. The book was to break all legions into small chapters. We started complaining. A lot. Oh yes, that superfluous second founding shittery. Why the balls did it go through if almost half of you voted fuck that? I did not wish to copulate with his book, father. I have only seen Lorgar. Oh no! That's accurate, that's accurate Please though. erase these mind images immediately. But I did vote no. It felt like my brothers and the Imperium blamed me for your fall. I would personally blame fucking Horus yeah. since he murdered me and stuff. But they could totally blame you for this achievement of iron halo stuck in my crane. <laughs> Nevertheless, I resisted Gilliman's Codex Astartes. I called Gilliman a coward. He called me a traitor. I called him conceited. He had the Imperial Navy launch codexes at my strike cruiser. I was something beyond furious. What made me more upset was when Perto Rabo. Oh Every no! The man child came along and challenged us, Imperial Fist, to a sea. Oh! I then oh boy! 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 As I did, I saw a vision of you, father. You were not dead. You had been with me all that time. Mm -hmm. Spectral me is just as much a talker as you <laughs> seems. It was then I realized the folly of my actions. I did not want more conflict between us, Primarx. So I accepted the book and gave it a five out of ten. It was okay review. <laughs> It is too bad someone less notorious for their extremely complacent attitude towards themselves had not written that codex instead. Can you just imagine, if, say, Codex had written it, no one would have fucking cared. <laughs> yeah. And the Imperium's bulwark would not have been spread out <laughs> like the last remaining Astarchies. He, they wouldn't have cared, he's standpoint. absolutely right. But even if I had accepted the book, it did not mean my sons had. All my Imperial fish did not like the book. And I've started appreciating it only after seven days of intense torture. Sounds like a great book. To show them why we need to follow this book. Why this split had to happen. I had to give all members of our Legion the same enlightenment that I had received did from you, my magic Did you, did you, did you please tell me no. Like I don't right. like this either. Unfortunately, we do not have enough <laughs> Well, that is a relief. So, I accepted Perturano's... No! 
Not really. I swore that I would dig Pochorabo out of this hole and bring him back to That's not your strength. Cage. And thus began the battle. You guys did like the opposite of what you're good at. <laughs> How did it go? Bad. How bad? Very bad. Yeah. Tell me why. Pertorabo had always been envious of me since I got the honor of rebuilding the Imperial Palace. But since he no longer had a chance to fail at breaking into it after the Battle of Terra, Pertorabo yet wanted a way to satiate his massive childish grudge. So he built the Eternal Fortress upon the planet of Sebastus IV. Was it made out of solid gold? No. See, this is why I gave the job yeah. to him and not him. Gold. Did you not give it to me for my superior skill at the constructing of fortresses? Yeah, sure, whatever, continue. <laughs> the battle upon Sebastus IV became known as the Iron Cage. The Iron was Cage, terrible. yeah. Many died on both sides. Many of my men died to foul tricks and deception on Pozzarabo's part. Honestly, did you expect anything else from someone who absolutely super bad behaves? Yeah, I did pretty not bad. Carry expectations. I came to the planet without preparation. Bad call. Never plan. Only redemption in mind. Seriously, if Spectral Pain Love Me was the one to convince you of all this shit, then he is a massive fucking Yeah, asshole. I'd say so. He did win, but not without aid from the Ultramarine. Ah. He came uninvited. After Bruh, this, <laughs> I'd be so upset. Felt had spread across my legion tenfold. I bet they were all in agreement that the Codex Astartes was pretty okay compared to massive, grievous casualties. Yeah. Yes. We decided to split the Imperial Fist Legion into several chapters, such as the Crimson Fist, the Black Templars, and the modern Imperial Fist chapter. It was that I am bad. I'm surprised one of those do not have the word fists in their name. That is because they are absolutely <laughs> Yeah! Yes! Hut. Oh well. Hmm. Do you know what your fists are up to now? One of my fists is hanging from my arm. Fucking damn it. Well, there is a <laughs> fortress monastery of the Phoenix. Each new chapter master crowned has the right to engrave their heraldry upon the hand as tradition. I do not want that hand back anymore. First off, fucking damn it, Trogel, that is not what time it. And second <laughs> off, is it not super creepy that your rotting skeletal fist is enshrined as some object of worship millennia after you lost it? Fuck you. The silence. <laughs> that is funny. Well, I did not know you were capable of laughs. I am fully capable of the laughter. <laughs> what do you even find funny? Reality is funny. Tell me something funny then. Yes. Do you know how us humans express praise by clapping our hands? Mm -hmm. I am aware. That is hilarious. Okay then. How? Because smacking the floppy end parts of your arms <laughs> together to make a noise is a strange way The floppy of end parts. Praise. That is why it is funny. Well, you are certainly not wrong. Huh? I am happy huh? to be an amusement to you, father. But allow me to tell you that I do in fact not know much of what my sons are doing as of right now. But I wish to meet them once more. Soon. That will surely spook them out good. Yes. Now allow me to further disclose to you things that are funny. <laughs> Sure. None of the local nudist colony have returned anyway. Mm. I Wait. wonder where the fuck they could be. Wait. Oh. Fab Stodies. Got it. Whoa! Brother! Brother! Wait, oh my goodness. Did you just appear out of the wet wake? Yes! You must come see this! Quickly! They found the Drukari, didn't they? They found the Drukari. It's oh no. Full of demons and creepy mutes. No, 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 no. See? Well, yes, I mean, I can... That is... 
Oh no! <gasps> ah! They found the library! So, this is what an exterminate feels like. Hey, Dominique, why didn't you wake me up? Oh. It wasn't even anything. It's like, oh, he's dead. He's just dead. He he didn't get to have his last sandpaper cigarette. Oh, uh, I'm kind of sad. Like, I like saying that. Why didn't you wake me up? Bro, he just... Oh, you're dead. <laughs> Good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Where did Ross go? They didn't even explain how he died. He just did die. Wow. Farewell, beloved family. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> well, those knucklings won't shit on themselves. Bye-bye. I love you. Ew. How do you want to go about taking down these abominable nether creatures? I say we throw it our vortex grenades at them! But vortex grenades are kind of blitz in the war, aren't they? I mean, we're already in the war. We shall send them... To the warp warp. I want to see how many demons a maid can rip through before it gives us. Yes! Finally, I found oh, you! Oh, damn it, you weren't supposed to be. I must just come in the nipples. It's the oh. materials. Told the town bell. Told the town bell. Oh. Uh, very good. Go to Kevin while I take care of his wild straight now. Jet boots activate. Let's go, Fredo. All right, you thundering knobhead. Explain me that self before I locked you to the other side of the wall with my eyelid fucking feet. You did not allow me to explain before you pummeled my fair visage. You have better it explained quickly. I left my patient for the whole shit back in the bacterium. <laughs> Look, you really are my son. Oh my gosh, that's so dumb. To my I, I know it may be hard to comprehend, but this is the first time that it Met each other in over 10,000 years? And I want us to be on good terms again. Oh, by Fenris, what the feck are you talking about? <laughs> I have lived through most of my mortal life as Fyodor Karamazov, but I am just that much more. As was revealed to me before, oh, no. I just Oh, no. I. <laughs> yes! I'm serious! Alright, I'll be serious. He had dared to disrespect my father in such a manner. He carried the might and manliness of a thousand Mosselman yards. He was noble, just, and his very being radiated immeasurable power and charisma. When you were in his presence, you knew who he was. And I can assure you. Oh boy. You are no! Father of my milk so Yes, bonk him. This way you are wrong. This revelation was granted me not as a whisper from the dark, not through a fallacious herald, nor through copious amounts of brain aneurysms. During my time in the material, I spearheaded an invasion as a highly heretical decree had been spread Oh no. The this decree was sent from holy terror itself. So we made haste to find its origin, to liberate our most precious planetary cradle from this traitorous influence. And we found it. Oh. Inside the Imperial Palace, in the Emperor's own throne room, the filth that had composed this blasphemous decree was located. This being, Nock, this creature, was as powerful as he was cunning. Both the ecclesiarchy and the Empress personal Bruh. guard, the custodians, had wavered to the ruinous powers as they had all come to kneel before a crimson demon. That's not what you walked in to see. Hateful eye. What? What? A crimson demon with a single eye? Oh no. We entered. 
to the throne room in hopes to save our emperor. But this horrid demon banished us to this realm before we could do so much as lay a finger on it. But before this happened, the emperor himself revealed unto me the truth. Holy cow, he really, he really got manipulated here. Um, uh, okay. I don't know. My destiny is to escape this realm, reunite with my throne bound self, and bring humanity into a glorious new age. And I want you, my son, to aid me in this endeavor. Tell me, Inquisitor, were you truly, truly within the Imperial Palace? Did you really see this red? He doesn't care. <laughs> I did indeed see it. I swear it upon my honor. And my extremely wanted self importance. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. It is good that you realize the seriousness of this situation. Now, son, you may apologize for your. Transgressions. I shall go oh, yes, that'll go over well. We must go to Terra. No! We can do that too if you want. But, but how? Are there any ways out of this realm? Oh. We've been stuck here for centuries. There is one route. A dangerous one. But we shall take it. Yes! We are marching to the gates of Cain. Yeah! <laughs> Magnus, why are we going by ship to Nocturne when you can just tell it what is there? Silence, companion! I have not ridden in one of these vessels for millennia. Please allow me to soak in the nostalgia. But it's gonna take a lot more time. Look, we are gonna sit on this ship, plunder the minibars, Play the video games and use good old Ouija boards. To yeah. The absolute <laughs> shit out of demons. Oh, so you can this do the reverse with the Ouija board? Ouija. I'm surprisingly okay with this. Excellent. Let the amusement commence. <laughs> that was it. Somewhere. So, uh, yeah, that's actually the main reason I'm asking you to break in. 